Hi, this is Debbie with I'd Rather Be Camping. Uh, today I thought I would do a little Christmas home tour. I've been decorating and uh, thought I would share it with you. It's dark outside. It's been raining quite a bit here in Southern California, which is good because we need the rain. But anyway, I just thought I'd do a really quick Christmas home tour. Um, it'll be fun to look back on this for memories and and such. Um, but anyway, all right, I'll okay, get started. Okay, I figured well, we'd just start in the foyer where you come through the, the front door. So this is the foyer. I just hung a wreath there a little bit. This part is kind of a winter wonderland theme. But anyway, this is on my foyer table. And a lot of this stuff came from the 99 cent store, including those little, those little, including those little houses, Dares, Goodwill. All of this is very budget friendly. These little houses, I could not believe they had them. Now they were from the 99 cent store, but this bigger one was 3.99, and this little one was a dollar 99. The cones were 99 cents. They even had the little fur top houses with little fur cones. And then we did this here on the bottom shelf. And then pretty much the rest is kind of more traditional. I have that bottle, some lighted twigs, the box I made a few years back with Christmas books and right here is my little curio cabinet my husband made. I love to decorate it. Love those willow figurines. This is what I put on the top. Very simple. And then I just put some of those little battery operated lights inside. We do have a little light up there that helps out. And then this is my tree. I did have it all decorated in the fall and I've switched it now to Christmas. I got this on clearance at Big Lots at the end of the summer. Figured I could just spruce it up with some decorations. But anyway, this is, I guess they call the great room. And I have no Christmas pillows yet. But anyway, I just threw a throw there. There's Annie. Hi, Annie. She's what we call our old lady. She'll be 16 years old pretty soon. Decorated this little antique window we found on Craigslist and there's the star of the show our tree we're just now starting to wrap some gifts and yes that tree is moving I found the little tree stand that has the motor on it that has it that makes it go around. I found it at Goodwill. It was still brand new in the box. Paid $2.99 for it. That was a couple years ago in the summer. That was a good find. But anyway, and then that's our sunroom out there. We didn't do too much out there. And just my coffee table, which is right here. Put a few things on it. I love candles. And my buffet. These are just, oh so sorry about the lighting here. Let me see if I can get over here. I thought I would put that fireplace on there. I thought it would be cute in here. Love this buffet. My husband bought it for me probably about four years ago. 
really good deal. I love it. I don't know why anybody would get rid of that. But I'm happy they did. This is our peninsula. I don't really do anything on there because I'm always doing a craft or something up there. This is a sign I made. Made the stencil. My husband brought some wood home from work. I do have this little lantern over here. We just kind of change it out. Here's this section. I love old scales. There's another one of my willow tree figurines. Little angels. Those plates came from Goodwill a couple years ago. Most a lot of this stuff did actually. And then here's our fireplace. We put the mantle, kind of tried to get it more on the front instead of on top. I just, these deers came from Goodwill a couple years ago. I just made a little bow and bell and I brushed them with white because we have that old brick and they didn't really show up that well being brown, the brown twigs. And then this stuff mostly up here um, came from the 99 cent store or the dollar store. Just really have some nice stuff this year. And I kind of did the same thing on this side. And down here, little bird house came from Hobby Lobby, but I did glue it onto this candle stand. I also got from the Goodwill. I thought it matched really well. So did that sleigh. All Goodwill. Let me get back. We have this little dining room table which is normally out in our sunroom but we bring it in for the holidays. Helps out. Still won't be enough seating but um, yeah these little plates. I'm telling you you can find some good stuff at Goodwill. It's just you have to kind of be careful. Their pricing has gone really up there, but even the placemats, which were really cool. I don't know if you're aware, but they carry Target things. But anyway, even that little guy right there. But anyway, we'll go on into the, the kitchen. I uh, made this sign. Here, I don't know if you can see. I'll try to zoom in. Um, that's a stencil. Um, my husband works for a Caterpillar dealership, which they get parts in these wood crates, and he brings the wood home when I want to build something so those they're absolutely really free this is not a lot going on have my antique scale um, I put cookie cutters in this little snowman uh, the towels I used my Cricut and made the little vinyl cutouts and that's what I did with those not too much going on over here. Another towel I did. And then, let's see. I have one more over here with my mixer. That was, they, these were fun to do. So I seen these red and white towels and thought that they would look really Christmassy once I applied something on there. The hand soap, my daughter picked that up for me. It's really cute. Just, there's another sign I made. A little chicken setting there, and I just put that poinsettia up there. And put a bowl on my little pig. <laughs> this is a bread machine. I love it. I'm gonna be making some bread as soon as I'm probably done with this. I always set something under it to keep the heat off the counter. I just don't want to take any chances. 
But anyway, go over here in the dining room. Here's the table in here. I kept it pretty simple. Um, found this runner at Ross. And I have a video where I took this blue tin pitcher and made it look like this old enamel picture that was kind of fun. But I do have a video of that, how I did it. That picture also, it was blue, it came from Goodwill. Um, and then my coffee bar slash hot cocoa. I, my daughter does all of the chalkboards and this is, I want to make sure we really remember what the season is about. And she did this one is on the pocket door of our pantry slash laundry room. Over there and we have another little tree right here um, we've had it for probably at least 10 years um, got it on one of those after Christmas sales it's just cute it's not very big it's probably four and a half feet and that's a little cart back there my husband made and I need to make one more sign. I just finished this one. Um, got the idea from a YouTuber uh, called The Daily DIY. The, the Daily DIYer, I believe. Her name is Shannon and she does all kinds of cool things with her cameo, you know, vinyl cutter. And she mod posh some of the Christmas paper on some. And, did it so I was happy for the idea but I need to really make another one for this window as you can see it has nothing because I haven't got done yet <laughs> but anyway and over here is my china cabinet and kind of did it in a candy theme I've had a lot of this stuff the striped canisters there's one on the coffee bar. They came from Ross. And I did get those this year. These cute little elves came from the 99 cent store. And those little plates back there, they came from Goodwill. Okay, that's kind of it. go through the foyer and then this is the hall way and found this garland at Ross and those came from the you know the deer from the dollar store and I just have this little battery operated candle and stuck a gold poinsettia there and the Merry Christmas came from the dollar store berries in the jars or bottles and this is the bathroom not a whole lot um, my daughter did this we were running out of decorations uh, I just made these little soap jars a couple days ago and uh, hung some of those little bells on there and then after Christmas I'll take them off and because I want to do this whole farm style look There's a two-tier tray. Put a few of our leftover things in there. I just hung a towel. Or placed a red towel, I should say. That shelf, this is one whole long mirror. My husband framed it and then built this shelf. And he put right over the front of the mirror to, you know, so it looks like two individual mirrors and less to clean. And this is the master bedroom. I have this cute truck tag sign. It's wood. I 
believe it came from the dollar store. And this is kind of an overview. I'm so sorry it's dark. It's a dark day. <laughs> but we need the rain. I just put a galvanized train, I mean tray, and stuck some antler, antlers in there and candle and my little snow angel. And I found this Santa bag at the 99 cent store. I thought it was cute. blanket not a whole lot keep it simple in here I have this old letter letter my husband found in the trash I think at work and hung that blanket cute blanket my daughter bought me and just stuck a, a little pine Twigs and a poinsettia, and that's a lantern I've had for years. It is a real lantern. And then just this dresser. A few things going on over there. That's our dressing area. I didn't do anything in there. That's pretty much it. Christmas and a happy new year and just thank you for stopping in. This is Debbie with I'd Rather Be Campy. See you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.